All right, there we go. So, yes, well, first of all, how's your week been? Yeah, it actually has been pretty busy. Yeah, busy one? Yeah, mine's been really busy too. I went to the Morton Bay Business Expo, Business and Jobs Expo yesterday. Have you heard of that? I was there. You were there? I didn't see you. I didn't see you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I was, uh, so where you enter, where you walk in, not yeah. from the the, the uh, loading bay, but yeah. from where you I was on the back wall. Oh, okay. I walked back there. I was right near where the, the TED Talks and all the talks were. Oh, yeah, you're on a, okay. Yeah. yeah, up on that corner, which was kind of unfortunate because he was very loud on the microphone. Loud, yeah. 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 So was that Dennis, you mean? Or? Yes, Dennis was really loud. Um, so, he, yeah, he's part of my VX group. He's one of our leaders as well, so. Yeah, he was lovely, uh, very nice. But yeah, he was loud. Um, so when I was talking to people at the booth, it was kind of hard for them to hear me. Yeah, yeah. It was the same for me. Yeah, okay. Same for me. Yeah. Um, I did one of the TED Talks, so that was fun. It was about diversity in the workforce. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, so that was good. So yeah, I talked to Dennis, mostly prepping for that. So he was a... He's a nice job, guy. Yeah, well, he's a he's a business coach, so yeah, yeah, he, he, uh, he, he's got that book. Uh, uh, it's on retirement. On retirement. Yeah, it's it's uh, was it something fifties? He had the banner up. I I should know because I see it every figure every. I was going to say, I think his booth was across from mine then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because yeah, there's a retirement booth, but yeah, nobody yeah, was yeah. there. Nobody manned it, so I wasn't sure. Well, he's probably too busy. Yeah, that's, that must. It would make sense if it was him. <laughs> if it was yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a picture of him on on the banner. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, they were telling me that's the first time they've done that one there. Uh no, no. That's the first time he's done. He's actually uh, the first one he's done completely. Okay. Uh, so the, the lady who did it prior, yeah, um, she she we we actually did because that's my third one now. It at Brendale or uh no, 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 through the Morton Bay um uh business and jobs expo. Yeah, they said they used to do two a year, um, but this is the first year they're doing three a year, so it's the first Brendale one. Oh no, no, yeah, no. So they they, they do one in Brendale. Uh, sorry, North Brisbane. Okay, yeah. They do one in uh, the convention center. Yeah. In Brisbane, and then they, they do one down the coast. I don't know where exactly it is. Okay. Down the coast. So, um, but this is the first, this, this was the first one for Dennis gotcha. as the manager. Okay. So another, another lady, Paula, Paula was her name. She, yeah. uh, she ran it the last few few years mm -hmm. uh so we had it there last year mm. and that was that was tough because that was when the lockdowns were happening oh yes yes so uh we had police patrolling which was ridiculous yeah. uh and the year before that we had it at uh the new church there at rothwell the new church at rothwell well, okay. it's not yet. It's been it's been there a few years. Okay. Two or three years. Oh, I know what you're talking about now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that so that uh, that was even more difficult because they could only come in one way and go out the other, and they actually had to wait. You couldn't all go in at the same time. Gotcha. So yeah. It was even it was, it was even more crazy. Yeah. So how did you feel it went this year? Yeah, when it, it um, I got less in the chair. Yeah. Uh, but um, I got about the same amount. I no, I got less in the draw. I got less in the draw, but I still got two people to book in, and there was two others that were wanted to book in, and I got yeah, I got about a half a dozen to go in the prize draw. So we'll okay. see what happens with that. 
So were you doing actual like mini sessions there or? No, I, I just did pulse diagnosis. Okay. So it's like it's like an iridology with a naturopath. Mm. So um, they 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 use the eye as a, as a map of the body. Mm -hmm. it, it's I'm just using the, the radial artery, the artery. Okay. The of uh, yes. That artery tells me about the other arteries in your body, but more importantly yeah. about the heart itself. So it's a cardiovascular investigation, really. Gotcha. Okay. Good. Yeah. Well, it's Did an ancient. Get... It's Go an ahead. ancient method that has been lost. Has, yeah, has been lost. Mm. Did you feel like you made some good connections? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got a lot of interest. And what blew me away was my videos must be paying off. Yeah. Uh, because uh, this lady came up to me and said, Oh, I know you, you're Dr. Scott. You're Dr. Oh, Dr. Scott oh. on Instagram and Facebook. And I said, uh, Yeah. She said, oh, I love your tips. I watch your tips. There you on go. Instagram. On Instagram. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. So it's paying off. Great. So she was she she was interested. She went in the prize draw. So we'll see, see what happens. Yeah. I think I know now where you were, but I think I didn't connect it was you. And I don't think I saw you at, the, at that booth. So I tried. I feel like I got more out of walking around myself. And part yeah. of that might have been the location of my booth. I don't know. Um, yeah. but I felt like I got more walking around and approaching the booths myself that I thought would be good for, you know, connecting with. Yeah, I see a lot of the people there I already knew because mm -hmm. a lot of them are in those groups that I already know. So mm -hmm. um, like the chambers, chamber, for yeah. instance. But, um, there's BX. BX was there as well. Um, yeah, I know them. Yeah, BNI was there as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, but yeah. speaking of education, so we started talking about the water. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, just increasing hydration, which is huge, encouraging people to drink more water, um, not, you know, the soft drinks and the, the other, you know, Gatorades and Powerades and you, all that you stuff. Can, but, you can see it, it causes oxidation. So yeah. and we know what oxidation does to what what it does to cells. So mm -hmm. no brain. Yeah. So I looked up some things to to see, you know, what recommendations are out there, what's being told to help increase people' ability or consistency or compliance with drinking water. And I was curious your input as well on what you've tried, because I know a lot, you know, of similarities where we try and make sure people are hydrated and educate them on the importance of it. Um, especially, I had a conversation with a client yesterday, teenagers, have you heard of this Prime drink? This drink called Prime is massive among teenagers right now. I think it's another energy drink, has caffeine and everything in it. So it's right. developed, it's by a YouTuber made the drink. Is it got taurine in it? I think so. I I have to look it up myself. I was just, he was just showing me on his device. But then I remember having this discussion with another parent about it and then seeing it on like um, Facebook, like, hey, moms, just in case you're wondering, I saw this at Woolies, if they're not sold out. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's a caffeine drink. And, and then there's different forms. Like there's ones that are 18 and over something. Cause it's like triple the caffeine. I don't know. Um, but you know, water is huge and I get it. It's people want flavor, et cetera. So some of the recommendations were the smart water bottles. So the water bottles that have the sensors that track the water intake, send reminders to drink more through the day. Some <laughs> Yep, some smart water bottles actually have personalized hydration goals, temperature control, and even integration with fitness trackers or smartphone apps. Have you ever seen one of those? No. Me neither. I have seen them come up on some of like the disability pages I'm on. Okay. But I haven't seen anybody use it. Then there are the, the mobile apps, like the water tracking apps. Um, I know my smartwatch has like a hydration one. Honestly, I don't use it, but I drink a lot of water. So I've never seen the need to, but then I'm like, hmm, I wonder how many other people say that. 
So uh, what, what, I, what I tell my page, I'm old school. Yeah. <laughs> I don't use devices. You so don't use no I apps use, or smart water bottles uh, or. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I, I I give them a protein sh shake bottle. Yeah. And or or I tell them to go and get one. And these are 700 mil, so I just say to them, drink three of these a day. Yeah. Yeah, and that's the advice I remember all my life. Yeah, drink drink how many ever of these a day. Um, yeah. But it's interesting how creative, obviously there's a market out there or, you know, something's happening where people have somewhat realized that they need to drink more. Interactive water dispensers. So installing interactive water dispensers in public places, workplaces and schools. I do like how there's more places to fill up your water bottles like at the zoo and things like that. That's good. Um, but these actually have interactive screens that have games or challenges. So maybe helpful for children offering incentives. Flavor enhanced water. Those, you know, those um, soda stream now, they have a whole bunch of flavor enhanced or the bubbles. Like I know my partner will only drink the lightly sparkling or sparkling. So he has a soda stream and he doesn't add flavor. He just adds the bubbles. <laughs> okay do what you got to do if it's just water drink it right so uh i'll send you a link I'll, I'll put it in the chat yeah and this is a video you can watch it when uh it goes for 12 minutes uh, and explains what uh carbonized water does mm, so the difference between carbonized and non-carbonized yeah yep and you'll see you'll go oh okay but I wonder if that's a step for those that only drink soft drink. Yeah. Would the first transition be to carbonized water? No. <laughs> no, just skip it's it just altogether. It's just the city. Just as bad. Mm. So yeah, for, I, for the teenagers drinking prime, how do we get them to go to water? Sorry. Sorry. But it's okay. I'll just uh, copy this. There you go. Watch that one. Uh, just suck it up, princess, okay. and <laughs> drink some water. <laughs> drink some water. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 over, it's a, uh, that's with the Kangen, I found it's a lot less heavier. Mm -hmm. So I've had complaints that, um, you know, if, because I what I do what I'll say to them is that if if you're having problems, um, go back and have a glass of tap water and then drink, and wait twenty minutes because it takes about twenty minutes for it to absorb, mm -hmm. and then drink the can of water and see the difference. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's a lot lighter. It's not as heavy in your stomach because you're absorbing yeah. it. That's I'm why. not a fan of the carbonized water. I'm still thirsty after it. <laughs> Well, it's it's uh, it's um, acidic. That's why yeah. it's going to mm -hmm. make you sick. Yeah. Eventually, it's going to, and it's it's like a three point So yeah, it's pretty but acidic. I, I've noticed that the market here has the the flavored water is all of that carbonated water, where we had this more options in the U.S. where it was just flavored regular water, like cordial. Yeah, cool. but it wasn't like that shit. Like it was just like um, some of it was sugary, obviously, but not all of it. So there was okay. vitamin water and some other brands, but some of it was sugar, some was sugar free, you know, whatever flavor enhancing. Um, okay. Yeah. We gotta we gotta put something in there. It would have to be a spa day or something. But. Something, yeah. But I noticed here they're all carbonated. There, there's not as many non-carbonated flavored water. Uh, if you go to the Asian stores, they do. Mm, so go if you go there. to the, the, the Asian stores have the uh, non-carbonated um, flavored water. Gotcha. Yeah. So they they, they have all, they got weird ones like cucumber. I know they put cucumber in a lot of the drinks. There's yep. Yeah, cucumber, green tea. There's there's so many different ones. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I just go to work. Yeah. yeah. If, if if they're gonna if they're that way inclined. You Mm -hmm. You can try and win them off through those those drinks in the yes. Asian stores. Yes. Yeah, the water. 
So that there's because I go in those stores because there's certain sauces you can't get from Woolworths. Mm-hmm. But there's a there's a Vietnamese dipping sauce that they they don't sell. Mm-hmm. And you can only get it from a one of those Asian superstore. Yeah. So they might have more options if it's a flavored water rather than a carbonated. Yeah. Oh, I see yeah. them all the time. I see I see those. Yeah, they they got fridges on. Oh wow! So I guess there is a market. You just have to know where to go. Well, it's just the Asian culture. They don't drink yeah. carbonated water. Yeah. And they have those water bottles that have that bottom that you can put fruit in that mixes. Yeah. I haven't seen as many here either now that I think no, about no. it. No, it's, it, it's very rare. You'll, every now and then, you'll, you'll like a restaurant might have it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, maybe a Chinese restaurant. Or those Korean restaurants as well, they, they'll sell them. So, so yeah, cool. actually, I was in the city. Uh, that's why I couldn't come last Friday because I was at a at a meeting of uh, uh, where I met uh, Leanne actually. Oh yeah. And um, they had their monthly meeting in the in uh, Sofitel, mm-hmm. and we went and had dinner down in Adelaide Street, and there was a Korean restaurant there. Yeah. <laughs> it was a tight fit. <laughs> it's like it's, it's not very big. It's, yeah. It'd probably be about a third of the size of size of your uh, reception. Yeah. And uh, you have these little tables and chairs, but it's a typical Asian restaurant, uh, yeah. Korean Korean restaurant, because they're such small people. And uh, yeah, they had a fridge. It was just full of, um, you know, they, those milk based and uh, coconut milk based and uh, uh, water based drinks. Yeah. And that and they they're all of them, and they're all young. They're all young mm-hmm. Korean people, and they're going and buying these. Like left, right, and south. So, wow. yeah, and they have that bubble tea now. I see that. Yeah, bubble everywhere. tea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they're, they're usually milk based or coconut based. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, okay. but they're not carbonated. They're, they're, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, the other suggestions, obviously, all the gadgets we talked about it. Workplace wellness programs. I know where I used to work um, in a large corporation, they would have like these wellness programs, and it might be challenges, you know, tracking how much water you can drink and and all of that. Um, wouldn't say that's as popular as prevalent um, in the smaller companies. Innovative water dispensing systems. Yeah. Social, yeah. So it talks about the fruit infused water. I remember some of the hotels that I've stayed in would have like the big water jugs with fruit in it, and then you can just dispense it as well. That's where I would see the cucumber. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's suggestions to leverage social media platforms to help launch campaigns to promote it. Um, the water tracking yep. gadgets, community challenge, obviously more education. We're always back to education, aren't we? Well, it, yeah, it, it, but that comes back to you know what your parents told you to do. It's yeah. you know if um, yeah, you, you know your kids whinge like I did too. I whinge, mm-hmm. oh, and I'm sick of water or whatever. But um, we were told to drink as much water as we could. I was, I was anyway. Yeah. So that it comes back to the parents. Yes. Advising the children. Yes. Uh, you know, you need to do this. You know, when we're teenagers, we all think that we know everything and that um, I did too. I did the same thing. I ate, I ate garbage and, yeah. I, you know, I drank garbage. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the time, I, you know, I was, I was invincible. I didn't think that I would ever, you know, be able to um, deteriorate. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's, you do some crazy things when you're a teenager in, in your 20s. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that, uh, but then, you know, as I got older, then I, I realized that what my parents were saying was right. That, mm-hmm. yeah, that there, there was a reason why they said those things. Yeah. And, Similar. My parents were always the healthier ones. I guess I was kind of lucky, but I didn't realize it at the time. Yeah. But, um, yeah you don't realize it until, you, you know, when you started. Yeah. You know, yeah. Something's backfired. Like I can't do natural peanut butter. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah so, so if, um, but yeah, the, see, that's another thing. Allergies was a rarity mm-hmm. when I was young. It, it, um, and that's what I was trying to say is that uh, that's what I was trying to say before. If our grandparents saw what we were eating now, drinking now, yeah, they would be just shaking their head like, you guys are yeah. crazy. Yeah. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be eating that garbage and drinking that garbage. Yeah, all the prepackaged <laughs> preservative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the kids think Convenience. that it's, yeah, because kids, you know, they're, they're healthy. So, well, I, I shouldn't say that. They think they're healthy mm-hmm. because they're, uh, they're getting away with it for now. Yeah. So what do we do? Back to education, right? Yeah, well, it's, you're just going to wait until they screw up and then yeah. realize that they, they are deteriorating. Education in schools start young, but yeah, yeah but, uh, you really need that, to get the home environment. Yeah, well, you, you know, if they feel depressed, it's not because of... Um, you know, it, it, it's environmental issues that are causing it. That's what I'm trying to say. Is. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing record numbers of people coming forward with these issues, with yeah. mental health issues. So, that, you know, but the powers to be are not going to say, oh, no, we shouldn't be telling them not to eat garbage. It's mm-hmm. their choice. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's, it's, yeah, it's a, generational mindset is a hard thing to come up against and win <laughs> you should eat the right things and eat plenty of vegetables and and uh your, your mm-hmm. meats and uh uh but we'll bombard you with mcdonald's ads kfc ads yeah. and uh, hungry jacks and yeah. uh listen to us so that goes back to the whole social media and regular media influence yeah yeah, now, at least you can get a bottle of water at McDonald's and uh, Hungry Jack's now, right? That's an improvement. Yeah, well, yeah, i, I got to admit, there are some things that they're trying. Yeah. They're trying. They're yeah. trying. Uh, um, but that, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's ridiculous in itself, Christine. Like, with bottle of water, have you seen Rotten? Have you seen Rotten on Netflix? Uh, the, the McDonald's documentary, is that what you're saying? No, it's a it's a doc. It's called uh, Rotten. R O T T E. Oh, Rotten. Yeah, I saw um, the documentary on the McDonald's thing and how that hamburger lived for years on a shelf. Um, no, I haven't seen that. Is it on Netflix? Is it? Yeah, I think this is back when I lived in the U.S. It was on mainstream TV. There was a doco on that and fast food in general, and how long it lives on the shelf. And yeah. Yeah, I think that they go into a cellar. This guy's cellar, and he's had it. Since the eighties or something, is that the one? In the nineties or something? Um, no, this one they did it as an experiment, I think. But go ahead, tell me about Rotten, and I'm thinking they might be similar. So uh, the Rotten, they 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 pick um, like different food groups. Like they they talk about allergies. They talk about um, milk. They talk about uh, um, chickens. They talk about um, honey. They mm-hmm. uh, avocados. Um, wine, and there's what this one episode on water, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, that mm. bottled water that mm-hmm. everyone's buying. Nestle yeah. is the biggest uh proponent mm. of uh buying that water. So, what actually happens is Nestle, there are other companies, but Nestle is the big one. Mm-hmm. They're buying the water off us, mm-hmm. you and I, and then selling it back to us. Yes, I have heard about that. And they, because they own like Dasani, I think. There's Dasani in the US, is owned by Nestle as well. Yes, I saw that. They're buying it off, yes, and bottling it. Like mm-hmm. They're buying it off us and then selling it six times, 600%. Yeah. Fuck up. Yeah. Back to us. Yep. <laughs> and in a bottle that, you know, it can be recycled, but it never does anyway. Well, there's still the carbon footprint of that whole process. Yep. <laughs> of making the bottles, selling them. And they leach after a while, too. They leach into yeah. the water. Yeah. So fantastic. <laughs> That's yeah. a great system. Mm-hmm. Let's sell that water back to them. 
they, what they do is they, they reverse osmosis the water that they buy from our, our governments. And then, uh, then they add their own little formula into it. And then they sell it back to us. Wow. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's those filters too, you know, the, the water jugs that are filters or the, the Brita or the ones yeah. that you can put on your tap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. But they don't make it alkaline and they, yeah, they, they yeah. do get rid of some of the chemicals in it, like chlorine yeah. and fluoride. So, hey, we're, they're trying, right? Just Yeah, they're trying. <laughs> Good intentions, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it, it won't make it uh, antioxidative and it won't make it um, alkaline. That's the problem. Mm. It's got to be better than soda, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. Oh, the stepping stone is, that's yeah. like dropping off a cliff. <laughs> yeah. Baby steps, big steps. That's yeah, a, that's think... a little step. And then you got this. Yeah. Got to climb. Think... <laughs> climb to get to the top yeah. of that uh, carbonated water. <laughs> yeah. And that's the challenge is, you know, when we have clients show up with Pepsi in their hand or Coke or yeah. whatever. No. And trying to make the jump whether it's from Prime or, you know, Pepsi. Uh, so I, I played one. that video to a, a client that one of them put in the chat. Mm -hmm. And uh, he he came back again with a Diet Coke. And he, his very words were, I need to get caffeine into me somehow. Mm. I was like, okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll have to have a look at that video. And go from there. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, some people get the message. That feel well. Correct. And all we can do is keep trying, keep educating. Even if we reach, you know, less than we'd like to, it's still something. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, that, so, um, yeah, if you get a chance, watch that episode on Rotten. There's heaps. Yeah, I, I, yeah. get, I get my patients to, to watch it if they can, if they yeah. feel like watching um, because they can learn a lot about it. Because we're so so far separated from our yeah. food. Even, you know, like even like some of the information that they put in those episodes, I, I don't 100% yeah. agree with, but mm -hmm. I don't care. If if they, if it starts to make them think about where they're getting their food from, mm -hmm. that's... Oh. Yeah, it's a start. You got to start somewhere. That's gold. Yeah, good. All right, well, I'm cognitive of the time. So thank you for joining me today. I had a lovely chat and I think we'll both keep working on educating <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and trying to increase the water consumption everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, um, yeah. I've had patients, I, I've had two so far that just couldn't do it. Yeah. And I'm thinking to myself that, you know, one patient she ate every three hours. Mm. I said, that's great. That's awesome. You're mm. nourishing 25% of your body. Yeah. What about the other 75%? Mm. Some people just won't get it, but you know what? Some will. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much, Christine. You have a All lovely right. day. Thank you. You too. Chat with you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.